You are watching Metal Reef Academy right now. Take this out, man. Hi guys, Mike here. I've got a pretty cool and I think informative little uh, two-part interview to share with you guys this time around. I'm uh, I'm pretty exhausted. I've been up all night here editing, trying to get these videos done, but I'll I'll uh, do my best to give you guys a, a decent little intro here. Uh, Decapitated from Poland recently played Vancouver in support of their new album, which is called uh, Carnival Is Forever, and I was able to get uh, an interview with uh, the founding uh, member and uh, band uh, Mastermind Vogue. Um, first up, I'll give you just a quick bit of history uh, for any of you, you that are unfamiliar with the band. Uh, Decapitated formed in Poland in 1996, and they released uh, several albums between 2000 and 2006, and they are considered uh, to be one of the most innovative and influential bands in modern technical death metal. Uh, in 2007, the band was unfortunately involved in a bus accident that took the life of Vogue's uh, brother, Vitek, who was also uh, Decapitated's drummer. Uh, the crash also seriously injured Decapitated's then vocalist, Coven, who, uh, due to his injuries, was unfortunately un unable to continue with the band. Uh, all of this obviously caused the band to be on hiatus for a few years, and this has been, of course, well documented. And he's done uh, um, quite a few interviews talking about, you know, the difficult decision to continue and, and move forward with a new lineup. Um, so we didn't really get into any of that. Uh, like I said in the last one, I'm, I'm not exactly a pro journalist here, and I, I probably would feel pretty weird getting into uh, something so personal with somebody that I'm just, you know, meeting for the first time. I, uh, I lost a brother myself in a car accident, so I, I certainly can relate to the effect that that you know, has on a person and on a family. Um, had he brought it up, obviously we would have gotten into it, but I imagine he feels that you know, it's all been talked about elsewhere. and uh, you know, he, he knew this was going to go out to an audience of primarily guitar players and that you know, interview time, of course, is always limited. So uh, we, we probably could have easily talked uh, just guitars all night had, had he not had a, a show to play. Uh, what can I say? Re really, really awesome guy. Uh, he was a total trooper too. Uh, the English wasn't always easy for him, but his English is uh, sure as hell, you know, a lot better than my Polish is. And despite the language barrier, I think that this turned out to be a really cool and informative interview. Uh, he's a bit of a gearhead like me and somewhat of, uh, I guess you'd say a, a kindred spirit, you know, in, in his approach to getting a, a killer metal guitar tone. Um, throughout the two videos, I uh, will be cutting in occasionally with a bit of commentary, actually, because, of course, this is an educational guitar channel, and I want you guys to be able to learn as much as possible from a, uh, an interview or a video like this. Um, so in the spirit of that, before we get into the interview, I just want to give, for those of you that don't know, just a quick bit of basic information about amps as it relates quite a bit to what we're uh, going to be talking about. So uh, basically, there's two types of amps, solid state and tube. Um, there's also some hybrids that have come out in the last few years, but the basic two technologies are tube and, and solid state. Now, I'm not going to get uh, uh, too, de too detailed here. I'll be doing a series of videos for the uh, Shred Guitar Academy uh, going into that subject in, in much more depth and, and discussing a bit of the you know pros and cons of each and a lot of other things uh, related to uh, uh, the two technologies. Um, anyway, though, this is important because in the interview, Vogue talks about several different types of amp setups that he uses, you know, one for home, one for studio, one for uh, playing live, etc. Um, different rigs for different places for different purposes, and I would imagine, like, uh, like most guys with a lot of amps, his setup probably changes as often as the weather, uh, but the the common underlying theme is is basically this: that in in all the setups that he mentions, he's running essentially a stereo rig, uh, meaning that he feeds his guitar signal into a, a splitter, which I have around here somewhere. So in all the setups he mentions, he's running his guitar signal into one of these. This is a 
uh, radial splitter pedal. It is a Big Shot ABY True Bypass uh, made right here actually where I live in Port Coquitlam, British Columbia, Canada I might add. And uh, what this does is it splits the signal into two different amps for a stereo setup. Now, again, he mentions several different setups throughout the interview, but uh, it's, um, it's always one tube amp and one solid state amp. And, and what you end up getting then is essentially the best of both worlds. You can, you can blend the sound of the two different types of amps. Uh, solid state amps are generally really good for a tight crunch and uh, fast uh, rhythm parts, uh, fast response. And tubes are usually thought of as having a nice warm natural tone. And then the fact that it's stereo, which uh, basically gives the same benefits that stereo has over mono sound, you know, anywhere else in life. Um, you can do all kinds of things with a stereo rig that will just give you a much fuller, uh, larger guitar sound. And, uh, and again, I'll go into more detail in uh, lesson videos that I put together on uh, amplification. But the bottom line is it's, it's, um, you know, it's pretty much my exact uh, favorite general way to, to set up a stereo rig as well. And uh, that's why, like him, I've got one of these. And, uh, and of course, it's really cool to uh, always meet like-minded people that you have so much in common with, so the interview was uh, uh, definitely a, a treat for me as well on that level. Uh, one more thing uh, before I go, be sure to subscribe to Metal Riff Academy up top if you haven't already, and also my main channel, uh, Shred Guitar Academy. I'll also toss up a link to Decapitated's uh, official YouTube channel. Uh, they have links there where you can uh, buy their albums, uh, so be, be sure to support them. And uh, here it is, part one of my interview with Vogue. How's the tour going so far? Very good, thank okay. you very much. Yeah. Very good tour, very good lineup. Mm -hmm. Such a sweet lineup. Decrepit beer, hell yeah. Flesh God Apocalypse, Italian Familia, fucking great guys. Yeah. And uh, Onion Rings of Saturn. <laughs> nice. new, new band from California, mm -hmm. pretty much like. <laughs> and uh, how long are you guys out for? How uh, long is the tour? We, it's already uh, two weeks. Almost, almost two weeks, so we have another two weeks more. Okay. And tell me a bit about the uh, the new album. Um, hmm. What I could say about it? I really like this album. I don't know. It's different. Different than what we did in the past and yep. different what's going on right now on metal. That yep. must see, I guess. Okay. It's strong, mm -hmm. good production, yep. nice sound, nice guitar sound, nice drums. Good. Live kicks, no triggers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and tell me a little bit about uh, what kind of gear you're using these days. What kind of setup? Ah, uh, right now in in Poland, I got a tube head Laboga, Mr. Hector, Polish tube amp, amp. and I use I use it uh, together with Randall. Okay. Uh, RH three hundred, mm -hmm. a cheap head, the solid state, but mm -hmm. very. It works well, and uh, for me, and uh, I play the same time with both heads. I connecting in a stereo. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, I use two cabinets. Yep. I use Vader cabinets, okay. and uh, I got this splitter box, mm -hmm. radio splitter A B. You know, so I can play on both both amps in the same time. Yeah, and that's for me like the best best way to play like cool. I can connect tubes yep. together with solid state and solid state gives you fast crunch you you know cool. so you're using some Canadian gear the radial made in Canada radio is Canada yeah 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 <laughs> sweet sweet all right <laughs> Uh, 
how did you first get into playing guitar? Uh, I started when I was um, nine or ten, ten years old, ten years old, something like that. Yeah. Pretty young, yeah. Okay. And uh, what was your first guitar? What kind of guitar was your first? Uh, first guitar, very first. My very first guitar was a uh, acoustic guitar, like some Russian guitar. Yeah. My older brother, he's playing. He he. he he taking some lessons on guitar, and uh, so my parents buy to him Russian mm. cheap stuff yeah. because in my town in Krosno in Poland, mm. in south of Poland, there was a lots of Russian games to sell everything, you know, and they got the guitars as well. So this first one is like cl total classic kind of guitar, six mm. strings, and after this. My parents buy another guitar. Looks like like half black, mm -hmm. half black metal strings, mm -hmm. acoustic as well. Yeah. And then my father he he, he buy um, uh, some uh, pickups, Russian pickups mm -hmm. as well, <laughs> with the uh, small jack, not yeah. like like regular big jack. You, plug into the guitar, okay. small one, you know? So like a little mini so I, quarter, I, yeah, okay. I connect the guitar together with the, um, like you, vinyl, va va vinyl, like uh, a adapter. Okay, uh, or like a record li player adapter? Yeah, okay. like a, you know, a, like a thing that you put the like vi vinyl. Record player. Up, yeah. yeah. With this. So you hooked it up to the record player. Yeah, so okay. small speakers. Yeah. Then. My mother, she bought she bought me uh, my first electric guitar. Mm -hmm. and it looks like Les Paul, copy of Les Paul, okay. red one. Yeah. It was I think it was Polish Polish guitar, and uh, cost about uh, eighteen dollars. <laughs> but very cool. It was good enough to get you going. Yeah. Cool. And then, cool. then it started another guitar, yeah, another. Perfect. I sell this to keep money. Yeah. 